Hi, this is E.T. Arm wrestling, also known as wrist wrestling, Indian wrestling, wrist turning, arm turning, dates back some 4,000 years to ancient Egypt. It was popular among American Indians and likely had frontier devotees such as, well, Jack Armstrong. Abe Lincoln's rival and pal in the 1830s and 1840s. Arm wrestling has its historic champions too, men of Olympic power, the most notable of whom is Mac Bachelor. During the 1940s and 50s, Los Angeles's and America's and the world's most famous strongman bartender. Bachelor, who consumed as well as served copious amounts of alcohol, he weighed between 300 and 330 pounds, but nonetheless survived to a ripe old age of 86. He never once was defeated in arm wrestling, even against the famed Earl Odette, twice national shot put champion, an offensive tackle with two professional football teams, and himself never defeated in an arm wrestle, well, until he met Mac. During their competition, covered nationally by the press, including Strength and Health magazine, it was a two out of three match. Bachelor took 29 seconds and 27 seconds to beat Odette. As a result, Bachelor became famous. He got movie roles. He played a strong man in the film Mighty Joe Young and was featured in Believe It or Not. His success was due to two things. His technique. It's been said that George Jowett, he'll be subject of a future video, offered Mac pretty sage tutelage. And secondly, his prodigious muscle and tendon strength. Part of it was natural but most was developed in training while working his whole body, not just his arm. Let's take a look at what Bachelor could do. Aside from beating all 4,000 arm wrestling comers, some, by the way, demanded that he get up from sleep and come down to the bar so he could beat them. Mac in 1948 carried a 700 pound 40-foot log on his shoulder for 100 yards. Also that year, he carried a small horse. It weighed between six and 700 pounds, 16 feet up a ladder. Later on, he would back lift 3,000 pounds when he, Mac, weighed only 275. He could walk 30 feet while pinch gripping an 80-pound barbell plate in each hand. He could carry a steel facing plate of 165 pounds in one hand. Try that. He could hang from a rope by one hand. Remember, he weighed over 300 pounds and he used no thumb grip. He performed a one-finger curl using an 80-pound barbell plate. While working at bartending, he could be seen bending four steel, now these are steel, not aluminum, bottle caps, each between his fingers, just by forming his fist. And of course, he beat over 4,000 arm wrestling challengers. Bachelor's training resulted in the following measurements. He was six feet one in height. He had a 20 inch neck, almost 20 inch arms, a 52 inch chest, an 8.5 inch wrist. He exercised mostly at his small home gym where he performed two times per week the power lifts, the bench press, the squat, the deadlift. He'd do the occasional Olympic style lifting too, the clean and jerk, the clean and press the snatch lift, and he did that at more than respectable weights. On the other days, Mac Bachelor worked his grip and wrist. Besides using the conventional exercises, 
he had a homemade spring device that he used to simulate an actual arm wrestle. After a span of 25 years from 1931 to 1956, Batchelor retired from the arm wrestling game, which must have led to some arm and ligament damage. And he's not reported to have competed again, although he coached up-and-coming arm wrestlers. Well, the question comes up. How would Mac Batchelor have fared with the Giants of today? Well, it's hard to say. But because of better training, perhaps performance-enhancing drugs, sports competitors improve with each generation. But Max Batchelor would, in my opinion nonetheless, give more than a run for their money to all the Travis Bajants competing today. What do you think? Tell me below. This is E.T. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and do like this video. Oh, also, share it on other media.